Greetings everyone and welcome to part 5 of Sonic Colors and now it's time to go to stage 3, Starlight Carnival. Although, you know, it doesn't have to be stage 3, it can actually be stage 2 because you can either go to Sweet Mountain first or Starlight Carnival next or switch the order Starlight Carnival first then Sweet Mountain. It doesn't really matter really, as long as both stages get done. So yeah, but Starlight Carnival, huh? It's all bright and neon and glowy and pretty and bright and colorful like. It's like, ooh, And all this uh, road right here that he's going along, this laser road. It's like, whoa. And we got these robots here. Um, I believe these robots were in uh, Sonic Unleashed, if I recall correctly. Nice that they're back. And all you have to do is just do a big quick step to avoid their lasers. And they kill themselves. Of course, make sure to home attack these things or else you'll fall into the abyss. Even though Sonic can breathe in space, he's not immune to gravity and all that stuff. Alright. Anyway, folks, we'll get a new wisp power in this stage. So, as soon as we enter here, well, it's coming up right now. Yep, cube. Basically, this power will allow Sonic to turn these uh, blue giant rings into solid cubes and vice versa. I mean, it's perfect if you need to get past some obstacles or use some cubes as platforms. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Again, if you do Starlight Carnival first, you'll get this power available at Sweet Mountain. That's why those uh, blue bo blocks were there. So, yeah, it's, it was meant for the cube power. Hmm. But don't worry, you can come back to Sweet Mountain if you, you need to do something, get some red rings or get a better score. It doesn't really matter. And I'll look at that. Sonic's free falling. Yeah. We and what's this? Moto Bugs? Another classic Batnik has returned? Wow, yeah. So basically this section is just the Sonic's quick stepping, knocking down Moto Bugs, getting some Wisp boost power. And, yeah, that's pretty much fun. It's, it's a nice way to get some points. Yeah. Anyway, let me read some stuff about uh, Starlight Carnival. <clears throat> Here's Eggman's uh, thing about it. <clears throat> Next stop, the Starlight Carnival. The sheer scale of our illuminated space fleet is sure to make you feel small and insignificant by comparison. And here's what the U.S. website uh, has something to say about it right here. Um, the space surrounded... The space, surrounded by a fleet of spaceships with colorful neon lights and decorative neon boards. Okay, so yeah. Uh, whoa. Did that ship just appear out of a uh, warp drive or hyperdrive? It's like, woo. So, um, is Eggman intending to use this fleet to uh, take over the universe? That would, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he has a massive armada. I mean, sure, whatever evil plan Eggman has, um... He's probably going to use this fleet at some point. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. Now, it, people who are complaining about me taking out these egg pawns for just simply playing their trumpets. Don't care, they're enemies. They're egg pawns. They are meant to die. Cannon fodder. Mooks. Die. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's the thing about uh, the Blue Wisp Power Cube. Uh, those who have reviewed it and played the game before, and I've watched videos, uh, I've watched the Some Call Me Johnny, I've watched the Brain Scratch um, playthrough of this game, and they say that it's compared, it, the music is similar to the Seinfeld music, and yeah, I actually kind of hear it. I actually kind of hear the comparison, so. <sighs> and the reason I'm waiting for the power to die down is because uh, you barely barely have enough time to make it to the other side before Cube runs out on Sonic if you're not quick enough. So it's best to just get as close to the edge as possible and then go. Just go, 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 go. I mean, you'll see I cut it close right here and there. Come on. Come on. You can make it. Phew! See? Woo! Now, I don't know if these are made to be threatening or not because um, all these the, these Eggman lifts or something, these launchers or something, they don't really do anything but just like, woo, 
whoosh and all that stuff, so, hmm. Of course, be careful of the crushing things, because crushing things are bad in any video game. Yeah, you want to get the blue wisp power here, because there's a nice little way you can avoid these crushers in the next couple of sections. Now, I was smart enough to realize this, but don't collect these blue uh, rings here. You'll need cube to change them into solid blocks, so you can get up to this uh, higher um, spring right here. Come on, there we, there we go, and away you go. All you have to do is just walk along the ceiling, go to this section right here, get another blue wisp, because for some reason, when you bounce on the spring, uh, well, it cancels out the uh, blue wisp power for some reason. I don't know why, but, um, eh, I, I just don't get it. Sometimes the canceling things out are a little bit, um, I don't know why. Yeah, you gotta be careful around here, because one wrong move, you'll fall to your doom amongst this uh, giant fleet. And here we are, we made it to the goal. Hip, hip, hooray. <sighs> la, 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 la. Just me trying to get another one up. Come on. Will I do it this time? Yes! Woohoo! I mean, sometimes uh, you can get it, sometimes you will miss out, and sometimes you can get it out, but uh, no, nope, you won't get it in time because the game decides to lock Sonic in his victory pose. Yeah. And now the Blue Wisps are available for the rest of the stages. Nice little funky beat, and look at those disco lights. Yeah, yeah I'm sure Eggman's a fan of the disco era because, well... Come on, I can just imagine Eggman in one of those uh, John Travolta suits from Saturday Night Fever, um, and uh, he has a fro, have this big old red fro, I can imagine him having one of those. And then there's a uh, disco platform shoes, boogie oogie oogie, and uh, uh, see what kind of disco music is Eggman a fan of, the Bee Gees, uh, probably um, Casey and the Sunshine Band. Uh, what else is there? Uh, I'm trying to think what other things are. Yeah. Anyway, you can also use Cube to destroy these uh, white, glowy blocks right here. And this is interesting, so yeah. Of course, of course, be careful, don't stand on these because they'll start a chain reaction that will destroy the others and hurt you or kill you if you do not have any rings. And yeah. Alright, let me go on and read some of the uh, Eggman uh, PA quotes that he's got for Starlight Carnival. <clears throat> if you experience explosive decompression, please try to avoid straining the seat cushion. Those things are expensive! Oh boy, all about the money, isn't it? Attention! The anti-gravity toilets on this level are out of order. We are sorry for this inconvenience and hope that you can hold it for another 20,000 light years. Uh, that depends on how fast your ships go. I mean, if it's just like uh, 20 minutes or so for, per light year, it shouldn't be that bad. However, if he uses some kind of cheap impulse drive, um, then that could be a problem. Or else uh, the average person could just go on and go to the bathroom on the seat, you know, just rubbing an Eggman's face, you know, use the bathroom right there. <laughs> ah. Alright, uh, let me talk about this section before I go back to the quotes right quick. Yeah, this uh, Act 3 right here has these nice yellow, yellow springs. And as you can see, you can try and get the upper level if you want to get a red ring. Again, not getting all of them. I'm just uh, doing what I feel like in this game because, uh, well, that's the way I roll. Now, here's the thing about these uh, yellow springs right here. I mean, you can carefully... Uh, they move under Sonic in a way, as long as he's moving forward. However, if Sonic were to go backtracking, then, well, if he's not, if he doesn't keep up with the springs, well, down he goes to the, uh, bombless void of space. Ah. Is that a, look at that statue there, is that supposed to be Apollo? You know, the, uh, Greek god Apollo? Looks like it. Wait, wait, it looks like it has, a uh, Cubot's face on it. Huh. I think that's Cubot's face, or else some kind of random square robot, I'm not sure, but, eh. Alright, so, uh, yeah, back to the, uh, Eggman PA quotes. <clears throat> 
Please note that this ride is not safe for children under 12 or over 13. Is It is also not safe for 13-year-olds. Then, uh, Eggman, why didn't you build it in the first place? Huh? 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 If it's not safe for anyone? <clears throat> Remember, for your safety, please avoid, as well as never under any circumstances, as it is living being... Uh, what? Well, okay, how's this written again? Remember, for your safety, please avoid, as well as never under any circumstances, as it is a living being and will bite your face off. Um, so, uh, that's okay. That one's an odd one. All right, all right. All right. Let's, let's move on, shall we? <clears throat> Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Please make your way to the main viewing area where the light speed electrical par parade is about to begin. Oh, and that concludes our light speed electrical parade. Guys, remember, speed of light and fast and stuff, so, yeah. Just a reminder, please refrain from pushing buttons on the starship. Occasionally, one might eject you into space. If this happens, your next of kin will be billed for the replacement patch. Again, it's all about the money, isn't it, Eggman? <clears throat> because, yeah. Please refrain from, pe please refrain from peeling off the special space-age polymer holding the starship together. It may look and feel like duct tape, but it's not. It's called, er, uh, space tape. Very advanced stuff, thank you. Dude, that's, that's duct tape, dude. That's duct tape. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> what's next? Uh, attention, the muscle atrophy simulator is not open today. We apologize for this inconvenience, but we would like, but we would not be able to find the strength to open it. Because, uh, weak muscles, you see. <laughs> Get it? Alright, I'll stop the quotes for right now because I want to save some for uh, the next part. Anyway, these sections right here are these uh, giant balls of uh, doom that spew out energy. They, uh, You can avoid them easily. You just need to make sure you position yourself in the correct spot. Oh, and those trail rings down there, if you fall straight down, they will lead to a red ring. So, not a bottomless pit. And once you get the red ring, this uh, little grabber here can pull you back up. See, this is Eggman's disco ball right there. This little thing. I can't just imagine him boogie, oogie, oogie doing the trademark, uh, ow, 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 staying alive. As people are trying to stay alive while trying to avoid this disco ball of doom. And Eggman's just boogie, oogie, oogie uh, without worry because, well, he probably programmed them to, well, um, avoid him at all costs. So, yeah, I can just imagine him boogie, oogie, oogie. And get out of my way, Eggpawns. You're not going on this, you're not invited to this dance party. Now, well, and of course, thankfully, these blocks here will uh, essentially block uh, the green energy bolts. Now, if you have a power you get at a later stage, you can breeze through this section no problem, but I don't, so it's just a matter of timing. Alright. Ow! Of course, I didn't make it there, but uh, oh well. I made it. It's the end of the goal. Well, end of the stage, but whatever. Alright. So, yeah, we're only four uh, levels done. We have two more to go, and I will finish uh, Starlight Carnival in part six. See you then, folks.